name is Giovanna Proença and today we're going to talk about the opening project introduction to Git and GitHub. So basically in the previous videos we were seeing why the Odin project is so good. So this is a good course to build your own portfolio and really become a full stack developer only with free online resources, okay? And then the previous video we learned how to do the how to set up all the environment for your code space. Uh, if you have Mac and Linux you just need to download VS code and so those things but if you have windows you have to download the virtual machine so we basically saw all of this okay right now we're gonna focus on git So basically Git is a way, well, Git and GitHub, right? It's a way where we can uh, collaborate with other people in our code. So for example, you're gonna write some code in your local machine, so in your computer, and you have to send to the cloud, like for like Google Drive. You have one word and you have to send to your Google Drive. So this is the same idea. You're gonna send the code to a cloud and this cloud has named GitHub, okay? And how can we do this? We have a couple of commands that we have to learn and this way we can send the the code for our cloud and then we can get the the code from the others using these commands as well okay so let's learn seeing this animation git is a version control system for tracking changes in computer files and coordinating work on those files among multiple people git is not github Git is the version control software and GitHub is where you upload your Git repository. The working tree is the area where you are currently working. It is where your files live. This area is also known as the untracked area of Git. The staging area is when Git starts tracking and saving changes that occurs in files. These saved changes reflect in the .git directory. How do you add files to your staging area? Running the command git add and the file name will add a specific file to the staging area from your working tree. If you want to add everything from the working tree, then run the command git add dot. The local repository is everything in your git directory. Mainly, what you will see in your local repository are all of your checkpoints or commits. It is the area that saves everything, so don't delete it. How do you add items from your staging area to your local repository? The git command git commit takes all changes in the staging area, wraps them together and puts them in your local repository. A commit is simply a checkpoint telling git to track all changes that have occurred up to this point using our last commit as a comparison. After committing, your staging area will be empty. Finally, if you want to send the files from your local repository to GitHub, you have to push local repository changes to your hosting service by doing git push or Main. So the best way to learn is actually putting our hands on practice, okay? So we're gonna apply the commands we saw in the animation right now in here in the assignment of git basics, okay? So this part you don't need to do because we already did in the previous video, we just, we did set the setup, we uh, installed git, we created a github account. So if you don't remember, take a look at the, vi the previous video, okay? Here is in the, the card. And now let's focus on the goal of this lecture. So we're gonna create a repository in git so first we have to click in this plus sign new repository here and they are telling us to use the name git test so this will be the name of the repository here you can give a description I'm gonna say like first repository okay and you can leave this public or private and you can click here to add a readme file they're asking us to have this one once you do all this you can click in this create repository in this green button okay and now we have our new brand repository here all right so this is uh, like a folder in Google Drive okay in the cloud now we have this in our github the next step right now we have to create a relationship between what is in the cloud and our computer so to do this we're gonna click here in this code this green button you're gonna click this in this SSH uh, part and you're gonna copy this link okay all of these steps that I'm telling you is in here in the assignment okay so we're practicing this part so once you created the the repo and we have we did this step of getting 
getting the SSH, we have to open up the VS Code on our terminal. So let's do this. So let's follow these steps. Basically in here, we're going to do, we're gonna create a new directory called repos. So here, make it your repos for repository, okay? And we're gonna CD into this new folder, all right? Then we're going to do the following. In order to get the code, all the repository we have in GitHub, we need to do the command git clone, and we're gonna paste the link that we copy on GitHub, okay? From that green button. And then we're gonna click enter. Now it's cloning and now now it's 100% in here. Let's open up the here in oh, VS Code and you're gonna see the files. So what can we do? Basically we can enter here in our terminal here like git test and we can do git remote dash v and it will tell us where is the source of this in our github. Okay so this is telling us that we are in the correct place. Now let's start working with git. So we're gonna create a new file okay if you're using mac you're gonna do touch but in in my case I'm gonna do code hello world.txt and it's gonna appear in here this new file hello world.txt and I'm gonna say hi for example okay like we can see here we have a file called hello world.txt so now we have some things that are different here in our computer it's different than it's in our cloud so we have to update our cloud to what we have here in our computer so if we do here git status we're gonna see that here is saying your branch is up to date and basically it's saying that we have one file that that is changed okay so what we have to do if you remember from the animation we basically have to in order to put what we have here in our local local uh, file in our cloud we have to put this we have to do three commands the first one we're gonna put in the staged area the second one we're gonna put in the local repo and the last one we're gonna put in the cloud on github okay so what we have to do we're gonna do git 